Welcome back to Foxy's Art Box and Resonating Through Art. Today we have a spooky project, or perhaps a friendly one. We're going to make a forever friend with a phantom pet. This project features UV resin, both the regular type and the modding, and glow-in-the-dark mica powders. You can use any color you'd like. The mold is one that I have made myself. So it's an in-shop piece, as well as a cute little dome, like a doll dome figure that you can use for miniatures. And of course, don't forget your PP. So I started with a cute little sculpt that I made myself out of oven baked clay and I cast the mold for it. One of the first things we're going to do is attach the little ring to the top of the doll dome. I'm using a little bit of bonding resin and my little UV torch. All we gotta do is center the piece on top and get it to stick. Don't forget to do the light underneath just to make sure. And next, we'll color our UV resin. I have selected the blue powder I know from using this before that this one is particularly good at glowing, and of course, blue ghosts are fun. You don't need a lot of mica powder for this. Remember also when working with UV resin that you want to make sure that it can, the light can penetrate into the actual resin itself or it won't cure properly. So you want to make sure that you're just using enough to tint it. And in this case, the color is not going to be real visible without the light. I'm filling the mold very carefully, just up to the head, and then giving a good squish because the section where the muzzle is, it's not much of an indentation, but it's enough that a bubble can get trapped in there. So be extra special careful to make sure if you have an overhang on any mold that you use, that you give it a good work through to make sure that there isn't a bubble trapped. And once I'm sure of that, fill it up very slowly, making sure not to get any more bubbles trapped in. Then I'm going to give it just a little bit of time to make sure all the bubbles rise to the top and then I've worked them all out. It will take a little bit. Once I'm sure that I've got all the bubbles, underneath the lamp it goes for the full 120 seconds. No, I'm not going to leave it on there the whole time. We'll just blip to the next section. And once it's done, Flip the mold over and give it another 120 seconds. This just makes sure that the whole thing is cured all the way through. It's another benefit for doing really, really clear silicone. Once it's all done, we'll pop our little doggy out. So 
there is our little sheet ghost dog. But he needs eyes and a mouth. So using a little bit of acrylic paint and a very fine brush, I'm gonna go in and just do a little bit of definition on the mouth. And the eyes. And that just really helps to give him a little bit of character. He's a nice spooky little pooch. And now that it's all done. Using a little bit of bonding UV resin. We're going to bond him to the actual plate. Again, 120 seconds will do the trick. Just make sure everything's all stuck down. because it's really hard to fix it afterwards. <laughs> then I'm gonna take some bonding resin, go along the rim of the dome, press it down against the plate, and give it time. And those little uh, domes came from Amazon. Uh, I'm sure that there's other places that you can get them, but it just happened to be where I found the little miniature ones. These work really well for like a necklace or a clip. And voila! But of course now we have to install the clip. This is just a little lobster claw and a jump ring. And it's just a matter of working the jump ring in. Nothing real technical here. And now is about the time where I should mention that this is part of the Halloween special for the YouTube Crafty collab. These have been so much fun to do. And these little critters, these phantom pets, I have done both cats and dogs, have been actually quite popular since I came out with them last year. So I thought I'd show others how to make a their own version of a sheet ghost of pets because, well, pets are, are very much so part of our lives. I will have a link in the description for the rest of the collabs. Check it out. There's a lot of creative crafters out there. So here is our cute little ghost dog in daylight. Such a cute little thing. Doing a little better light and, and a charge up underneath in my little shot booth. See how, how cute his little expression is? He's such a sweetie. But when the lights go out, he's even cooler. Click on the link below, check out the rest of the crafters, and I'm very glad that you joined me for one of my favorite times of year, Halloween. Gotta love the spooky season. So keep crafting, and if you make something cool, make sure you share it with me. I'd love to see. Happy crafting! <laughs>